So we're going to maximize the equation utilizing the simplex tableau method. The simplex tableau method. So you see we have here this equation. We're going to maximize p equals 5x1 plus 7x2. Subject to the constraints x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to 2. 2x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 2. And we see x1 and x2 are both non-negative. They can be 0, but they must be larger than that. Uh, they cannot be less than 0, non-negative. So the first thing I want to do is I want to set up my equation or my tableau. So I'm going to change my maximize function to the following. I will then have p. I'm going to minus 5x1 from both sides and subtract 7x2 from both sides. This leaves me with 0. Next, we know we talked about slack variables. So this is less than or equal to 2. Okay? Which, if it's less than, I want it to be equal to. So I need to add a slack variable. It's going to take up the slack. So for my first equation, I have x1 plus 2x2 plus my first slack variable 1. Now this is going to equal 2. You see we changed and we added the slack variable here so that we could have equals and not just less than or equal to. My second equation then becomes 2x1 plus x2 plus my second flat slack variable, s2. Again, this is equal to 2, and this is because that's what my constraints were. They both were 2, so they're both 2 here. Okay. Now I'm going to lay out my tableau and see what it looks like. So on the top of my tableau, I have p, x1, x2, s1, s2, and my right hand side. On the right left side of my tableau, I write s1, s2, and p. And I'm going to explain that in a little bit more detail when we get to laying out our tableau. So what I have for the S1, that's my first equation. That's going to be this equation that has S1 in it. So P, there's no P. We see there's no P in this equation. So my P is 0. My X1, my coefficient in front of the X1 is just 1. My coefficient in front of X2 is 2. My coefficient in front of S1 is 1. And there is no S2. And what's on the right side? We see we have 2. So 2 is on the right side. Now I look at my second equation. My second equation here. Again, there's no P, so it's 0. I see the 2x1, I have a coefficient of 2. I have a coefficient of 1 on the x2. There is no s1, so it's 0. I see I have 1 s2, so that's 1. And my right hand side is 2. Now I'm going to do my objective row. We call that our objective row with p. And how many p's? My coefficient of p here is just 1. So we have 1. I have a negative 5 for my x1. I have negative 7 for x2, and I have no slack variables, and my right hand side is 0. So now I have my tableau laid out, and I must figure out a way to get rid of these negative numbers. These are bad. I can't be finished. I'm maximizing p. I want to maximize p, but I have these negative numbers, so I have to get rid of them. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to figure out how to pivot my tableau in order to maximize P. So 
what I have now. I need to look at my tableau. I found my smallest number. What's my smallest number? My smallest number is negative 7. Because my smallest number is negative 7, I'm looking at this column. So negative 7 was smallest. I look at the column that had the negative 7. Now I'm going to take my right hand side and I'm going to divide it by my x2 column because that's the column I'm utilizing. So you see I have 2 divided by 2, that's my right hand side, my right hand side here divided by my x2, so this equals 1. Here I have 2 divided by 1 because that's my 2 divided by 1 and that's going to be 2. Now that I've done this, I look for my smallest number. And my smallest number here is 1. So this will be my pivot point. My pivot point is going to be 2. This is going to be my pivot row, which means once I get this element, this 2 must become a 1. Then nothing else will change. So how do I change it? This is R1. Okay. So I have R1 is going to be equal to the original R1 and divided by 2. So what I get over here, I'm going to again, I have P, X1, X2, S1, S2, my right hand side. And I'm going to divide everything in row 1 by 2. 0 divided by 2 is 0. 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. 2 divided by 2 is 1. That's the whole reason we did this. 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. We see S2, S2 over here is 0. So 0 divided by 2 is still 0. In my right hand side, 2 divided by 1, by 2 is 1. Now, what I want to see is that x2 now becomes 1, and I want everything else in that column to become 0. Since these both will become 0, and this is to be 1, that goes, lines up with x2, so instead of writing s1 like we have here, we're going to write x2. And this is going to be giving us the variable x2 in order to maximize my equation. Now, I want to get the 1 over here representing S2, I want that to become a 0. So I now have to change row 2 using my pivot row of row 1. So in order to get the 1 to become 0, I have to multiply R1, that's my pivot row, by a negative 1, and I'm going to add it to row 2. So this is going to stay as S2, and I will see 0 times negative 1, 0 times negative 1, negative 0, or negative 1 times 0, plus the 0 that's already there is going to leave me still with 0. Now I have 